Hey everybody, I am busting out a new background because today is a special day. Today I hit 300,000 followers on Instagram, which I feel like is a big milestone. And one thing I'm really crappy at is celebrating milestones. Now, if my face looks a little bajonkers right now, it should because I just put my base on because I have a boxy charm box and this random box of makeup I won from a TikTok contest, which I'll explain in a little bit. And I was like, well, why don't I just get ready with you guys? Now you might be asking yourself, hey, Anna, it's Saturday night. Are you getting ready for a hot, sexy date? And the answer is no. No, I am not. I am getting ready to take a picture in front of this amazing thing back here that I've constructed out of a bed quilt and some like leftover New Year's Eve streamers on my like little frame. <laughs> it looks so good, but it's really just garbage. <laughs> Funny how that all, <laughs> that's a metaphor for life. Um, and I want to just take a really cool picture because I hit a lot of followers on Instagram. So I have this insane sparkly jumpsuit and no plans because uh, I'm not as cool as people think I am. I mean, being cool is highly overrated. But yeah, I'm just going to talk to the camera and put stuff on my face. I figured that would be fun. And I'll unbox as we go. So the first thing is Boxy Charm. Let's see what we got this month. This is Boxy and Chill is what it says in the little thing. I love this art. I mean, I wish it said something else than Boxy because I'd probably frame it because <laughs> you girl cheap. <laughs> the first thing is luminizing primer from Dr. Brandt. Now this is like super nice primer, uh, but I already put my base on. So I'm just gonna stick that in my little cubby because I'm keeping that. That's a good, that's a good, good. Maybe I wanna do my hair on camera today because this is just air dried. Um, ooh, this makes the box all worth it. It is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 Full Palette. I feel like that's got to be expensive. Let's check it out. First of all, check out the top of that one. I like it just for the container. Oh, oh it's lots of shimmery neutrals. This is a good like travel palette. And the mirror. Oh, I love the mirror. Is that weird? Is like the thing I'm most excited about is the mirror. Anyway, let's keep going. Then we have this lipstick, and it's in the color Havana Nights, which I feel is just a sign. Oh my gosh. It's real dark. Like, it looked dark in the tube. I just didn't think it'd be... Wow, I put on... Oh yeah, I put this on like a child. It's everywhere. It's in my teeth. It's like all over my face. You know what? I kind of like it. It's kind of clean off my teeth. It's kind of rebellious. Oh, snap. Of course. You see that already. That's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have nice things. This is also why I keep makeup wipes right here. Just a uh, magic. I n it never happened. Oh gosh, I spread it more. I got some of the lipstick on this thing. <sighs> you guys think I'm so good at makeup, but this is the reality, folks. This is what it's usually like. Okay, try one more time. Okay, it's better-ish. I'm gonna leave this on until something better comes along. I don't hate it. I actually really like it. It's just a lot for the fact that I have no makeup on my face. Then we have the Brio, Brio, Brio Geo, Brio Geo Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I like to actually throw these in my suitcase when I travel. This is like the perfect size because it's under three ounces. And then when I'm traveling, I don't need to pack conditioner or anything like that. Or if I'm nervous about there not being conditioner, I can just like whip this out and be like, watch out. And it fits in your carry-on. And... I'm like terrified because I've decided when going to Cuba that I'm only going to take a carry-on and I don't know if I'm physically capable of doing that anymore because I've gotten in the habit of being a blogger and just packing everything, like literally everything I can possibly manage in. This is Star Looks Black Eye Pencil. So I'm going to hold on to this because I might use that for something. 
And then this is Tatcha's Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. So when this is all said and done, I'm going to get dewy with my face. Because I actually probably should. I like to like put a mask on after I like coat my face and makeup. It's just being kind to my skin. So that was what was in the boxy charm. I'm going to hold on because I don't know at all what's in the TikTok box at all. And I want to see, I kind of have an idea. So this outfit that I'm going to put on is like a little bananas. It's like a sequin jumpsuit. I will show you guys the look at the end of this video. And I want like some bam eye makeup. And I just feel like this could be part of it. But it's a little too subtle for what I want to do. And I'm doing whatever I want to do. Because like how can I be subtle with this in the background? I can't. It's impossible. Okay. So I got a little card and I got this box, not as like a, not as a press PR thing. I entered a contest, a makeup contest, believe it or not, which is funny because I was talking to my friend Sarah today and she was like, oh man, three years ago you said you wanted to learn how to do makeup and look at you now. And I'm like, I still kind of am a hot mess, but I'm just a better hot mess than I was three years ago. Anyway, I entered on their contest this thing called Beat to the Beat, which is like you made, did your makeup to music. And I ended up winning the contest. Well, there was like multiple winners. And they sent me a box of stuff um, as my prize. And so it says, congrats on winning a TikTok beatbox. I guess that's what this is called. We loved your looks and can't, to see, can't wait to see what you create with these products. Make sure to tag at TikTok when you post the beatbox and your looks on social media. XOXO, the TikTok team. So that's what this is. This is literally a prize. I earned this. I want it, so let's see what we got. They're very on brand. They even have TikTok wrapping paper. If you don't know what TikTok is, there's a link down below you can click to check it out. It's kind of my new app obsession. Okay, so I'm hype already because they sent me a Pat McGrath Labs palette. I can't afford one of these on my own. It's on my list of things I'm not allowed to buy because it's, it's expensive. It's a lot of money. It also has a very complicated way to open it. Okay, I'm, I'm nervous because I've never, I've never owned one of these. Oh, it's very like, like the bottom is gold and it's, it just feels expensive. It should be because I think these things cost like 150 bucks. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely more like the color scheme I was looking for. You see those like bright sparkly colors here that, oh. We're gonna do some fun makeup with this today. We're gonna do some real fun makeup with this today. I think I'm gonna just use this. Cause I mean, it's $150 eyeshadow. I should go ham on it. Also, I got from Fenty, the Stunna Lip Paint. Which you guys are not familiar is like the ultimate shade for everyone. This is the ish. Uh, is the ultimate red lip. I don't know if it's going to go. Well, it might go. I might have to like change it around a little bit. But this is this is a pretty solid. Already these two things are a very solid prize. A very, very solid prize. Um, more from Fenty Beauty. This is the fly liner. So that is what goes. So this is the fly liner. And it's what goes with the, the red lip. So you get... Oh no, I lied. I like pretended like I knew what I was talking about. And then once again, I'm reminded that I don't know jack crap. This is an eyeliner. Oh my gosh. And the tip is so thin and it spreads so smooth. And look how cool this is. Again, I know this is old hat. A lot of people have unboxed Fenty stuff before. But let me be excited about something new, okay? Thanks. This is Wonder Glow and this is from Charlotte Tilbury. I know it's a flash primer for soft focus. I don't know exactly what that means. Is this, I guess it like adds light underneath your foundation. So you put it on and it like brings your face to life. This is cool. I'll have to play around with it with another day. Cause I obviously have like a little bit of base makeup on right now and I'm too lazy to take it all off and put it all back on. I mean, it's just a lot of work. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> I'm having a lazy day where I'm just like, I'm going to do the bare minimum. <laughs> YouTubers have lazy days too. This is a blush from NARS. 
I feel like I already have this color. So I'm going to save this and gift this to someone that will enjoy it more than me. So this is, I'm going to pre pre present this to someone. It's always Tracy, by the way. If you wonder who I present stuff to, it's always Tracy. Always. <laughs> Tracy's got like a lit makeup collection because I just am like, you want this? Okay, cool. Then we've got um, the Dior Skin. Ooh, this is also very fancy. Uh, shimmering Glow Powder. My guess is it's a highlight. Do I actually know? No, and I'm going to avoid... What I did with that eye liner thing before. Oh, it comes in like a little velvet bag. That's how you know this is some fancy ass stuff. Oh, look at this. This is my first Dior thing I've ever owned in my life. Look at me like getting all fancy. I feel like I should just go places and open this and like check myself out so people know that I own a Dior thing. I'm kidding. Yeah, so this is a highlight and I actually love the color of that highlight, but it is like glow see it's even reflecting in the camera this is going on my face today too and then last but not least is a pull oh a pair of silk eyelashes huh these are like those eyelashes you don't throw away because they so nice um i'm not usually a lash babe but given that these are fancy eyelashes I'm going to put some lashes on today. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lash attack the world. So now I'm just going to go and play and do my makeup and you guys can watch. And I will put some music or something on to somehow make it exciting. And then I will magically flip over to the final result. Let's go at it. First, I need, I need to take this lip off. It's too, too, too much, too much, too much for right now. At least it comes off pretty well with a makeup wipe. Sometimes these suckers do not come off and then four days later you still got like half burgundy lips. Just like random pieces of it because it's refused to leave. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but it happens to me all the time. Okay, let's go ham. Let's do this. So first I'm just going to put some contour on. Not even really contour, just a little bit of shading. Just to balance the skin out. So I'm using uh, Balm Take Home the Bronze. I like the color. It's not orangey and it's very light. So that's that. I'm also gonna put some eyebrows on. I'm using Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is my new jam. I'm using a number two, which is a, a dark blonde. And I have found that this is the best. And I've just, I've tried the NYX version, which is cheaper. It's not as easy to use, and I don't think it has as good a coverage as this one does. So I've committed full hard to this. See, now I look fairly normal because I have brows. Without them, <laughs> questionable. So then I think I'm going to go a little crazy because I know what this jumpsuit looks like, and I want to go crazy. So I am pulling out my Urban Decay Quickie, and it is bright as hell pink, and that's going on my cheeks. Not a lot though, like less than you would think. Yeah, see? It doesn't look as crazy once you like brush it on. So now I'm gonna put the primer on my eyes. I'm using bulbs, bulbs, I'm using balm to put a lid on it. And this is where I go ham on the really expensive palette that I got for doing weird makeup late at night instead of going out <laughs> and people told me it didn't pay to be a hermit actually i'm not a hermit but i do on occasion and my friends will tell you that this is the truth stay in to play with makeup <laughs> it's a thing i do because i like it it's fun so i'm going to start with this first color uh i don't it is called i have to look it's like all bleh. it's called Astral, Astral Ghost Orchid. That's like way too complicated a name, but it's this shimmery whitish pinkish color. I just want to see what that goes on as. And we'll go from there. So I'm going to do the whole eye in this. I feel like this might be one of those colors that you're supposed to put on top of other colors. 
so I'm an idiot. But I've committed to it, so here I am. Okay, so since that looks like I have no makeup on at all, we're gonna switch tactics here. So we're gonna go a little bit bolder, and we're gonna use the next one above it, which is VR Nectar, which is this color up here. Ooh, yes, this color is beautiful. This is what I thought the lighter one was gonna look like. So this color right here is called Rose Dusk, and that's what we're gonna go in with next. We're gonna just do across the top. Now, I'm gonna make the uh, dark corners. Now I'm gonna go back to the pink color that I just did um, across the bottom lid, and I'm just gonna blend this together a little bit better. And then again, same thing with the top color. And then I'm gonna take a brush that has no color on it, and I'm just gonna work the colors into each other a little bit better. Okay, so that is the look so far. It's pretty fantastic, actually. This palette is kind of amazing. Now I'm gonna take this really gold color, which is called Bronze Number no. Five, and I'm just gonna go and put it in the corners of the eye because I think it's gonna look bananas. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. So this is just giving it warmth and then brushing it up towards the top. I mean, that's pretty bananas. That's pretty amazing. I'm gonna run to the bathroom and put my lashes on now because I've got some fancy ass lashes, but like, look at my eyes. Do they look incredible or what? Okay, so I know people love fake eyelashes and yeah, they look cool, but this stuff feels terrible. I don't know why you would want to wear these. I get it, I'm like a terrible beauty blogger. I'm like, I hate everything. No, but for real, it, it feels very weird. It feels very, very weird. I'm just fixing where I stuck my fat fingers. Trying to do my makeup. Okay, yeah, these literally feel like there's like bugs on my eyes. I guess that's a good thing. Is this, this what sexy looks like when you have bugs on your eyes? I know people love them, but oh my gosh. This is not my world. I mean, I love makeup, but I have my limits, people. Aw, oh, man. I don't even think my eyelashes are on evenly. And I think I'm gonna glue my eyelid shut. Oh, this was too ambitious. I need to stick to my zone. This is, yeah, okay. Just blend that in, no one will know. Okay. That is done. Now I'm going to put my fancy highlighter from Dior on. Oh, look at me. I'm so fancy. So fancy. And then I'm just going to do down the T. But I'm going to glow the hell out of it. Like, give me glow. Ooh, so this is like more natural glow. And I want like gaudy glow. So I'm going to switch it up. Get out my afterglow palette, and I'm gonna hit myself up with this pink, just cause I'm rocking so many like iridescent right now. Might as well just go full out iridescent. See the difference? And I feel like we can take this even higher. I want to take you high, yeah. So we are, we're gonna pull out the Unicorn palette by Too Faced, where it has this like crazy color called Unicorn Tears. This is like, I never use cause it's so like, you see it, white, crazy highlight you see that you see the highlight that's going on there it's so much highlight now i'm gonna take a little bit of that and just put it up here Ooh, it looks good what color am i gonna use on my lips here's where i'm gonna throw it for a loop see this color that crazy havana color i'm gonna do it again just like a little bit yeah there you go it actually looks kind of amazing can we just talk about how cool that looks? Like, I feel cool. I feel cool. I do want to just fix this a little bit because it's driving me nuts. I know. Type A. Type A. Okay. There we go. So glam. Now, we got this lip on, but it needs to be iridescent too. Unicorn tears. So now... My face is beat, but obviously I need hair that matches because this is a look and this 
this is not good. I mean, it's not bad. Actually, it's perfectly fine. But for the aesthetic I want today, I need something else. And you know what I need? You know what I need? I need something that I haven't used in a very long time, but remembered today that I had, which is, let me plug it in, a crimper. I'm gonna crimp my hair. So sit back and watch as I do that, because it's gonna take a long time and I don't wanna talk to you guys through it, so you can just watch and I'll speed it all up and consider it. Oh yeah, we getting crimpy. Note to self, buy a bigger crimper. This is too small, it takes too long. So I spared you guys the like 55 minutes it took me to crimp all of my hair, but oh my goodness. It's a look, and it's a look I really like. Like I'm into this. I have one last thing that I forgot I had, and I was like, this is the perfect time to use it. I bought this um, thing from Milk Cosmetics after I'd had a little bit of wine, and it's a heart stamp. So I thought I would just, you know, give myself a little heart. That's it, that's all I'm gonna use, just one stamp. Now I'm gonna put on my outfit and you guys get to see the final thing. I feel like very like rock star vibes right now. I just want it messier and messier. <laughs> okay, be right back. So I tried to make this work, but the background's too narrow. So I literally climbed on the floor for a little bit and took the selfies to the left of me. Sometimes it looks like I live a glamorous life with a glamorous setup. It's really just putting on pretty makeup, crawling on the floor with um, streamers in the background. You know, if I'm celebrating 300,000 followers on Instagram, this seems really appropriate because everything I've really done on my channel, I've done it myself. I don't have an editor. I don't have a, I have a photographer I use sometimes. These sequins are itchy. Oh man. But like, this is reality, folks. It looks good in the photo, but in reality, it's some cheapy streamers over the backside of a quilt. And the camera cut just so you cannot see the uh, bookshelf and uh, other accoutrement that is in my apartment. But this is reality. So um, with that, I'm gonna take all this crap off my face. First, these eyelashes, because they are, oh, never again. I don't know how you girls do this, but I love beauty, I love makeup, but no. And now I'm gonna wash my face, wash my hair, cause it's totally fried from crimping it, and forget this ever happened. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. I'll check you later, and peace.